y'all welcome or welcome back to another video well today's video is gonna be a little bit different for me y'all know i mainly only do vlogs but yesterday i had impulsively went to go buy an iphone 15 pro max everybody's been asking me can we get a what's on my iphone can we get a what's on my iphone genuinely i did not know people still watch those i didn't know that it was still trending i didn't know that it was still a thing so i asked my spam like do y'all actually watch these or what's tea a good amount of people say they watch them so you guys ask i shall deliver so the reason i went ahead and bought a new iphone was because i had two phones i have this is my iphone 12 pro max i've had this for years and I had an iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I don't have with me today because I did trade it in for my 15. This phone, about five days ago, just completely went black. And I did a hard reset. I did everything. I, You know what I'm saying? When you look it up, it tells you what to do. I tried everything. Didn't work. So I took it to the Apple Store yesterday. I took it to the Apple Store yesterday. And basically, they told me it's not going to power back on unless they fix it for $500. And keep in mind, this is my backup phone. Like, I still used it here and there, but this is my backup phone. And then um, I went to the Apple Store a little bit over a month ago for my iPhone 14 Pro Max because it was just running real slow, being real, you know what I mean? So I took it in and the dude basically told me, like, ever since the day I first bought my phone, it's been constantly running nonstop and it doesn't stop running. Even when it's off, even when I'm not using it, like, while I'm sleeping, my phone is off charging, it's still running in the background, if that makes sense. So he said the only way to fix that is to completely delete everything off the phone and not put anything back on like completely start off new iCloud new no new no old pictures like I couldn't put anything back on my old phone and I'm a content creator so that means you telling me I gotta lose all my content so I was just like at this point why am I gonna walk around with two broken phones so I was like let me just get a new one so this is my 12 Pro Max it's like it's not working it's completely like blacked out at this point so the blue one is the 12 the white one is the new 15 Pro Max genuinely speaking Ever since the 12 Pro Max, every single phone that's came out is the exact same. Um, in my opinion, there's no difference. I've had the 12, I've had the 14, and now the 15. There's absolutely no difference. The camera gets a little bit better every time, but I mean, that's pretty much it. All these phones are exactly the same. The one thing I can say about this new 15 Pro Max is very lightweight compared to the other phones. A lot of people have been saying it feels like paper. It absolutely does not feel like paper. It's just a little bit lighter than the regular phones. Like, it's very lightweight. This is the box it came in. I got a 256 iPhone 15 Pro Max in the color, I think it's called White Titanium. My old phone had 256 also and I only used 40% of that so it was no point in like upgrading the storage because I honestly don't use that much storage. I don't know. I don't know how the girls phones be full off 256 because baby that is crazy. I also had to go ahead and buy a new Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch SE. I used to have the Series 5 which is I think we're on Series 10 now so it was time for upgrade. My Apple Watch got stolen in Vegas so I had to get a new Apple Watch too. So I'm going to tell you how much I paid for the phone with the trade-in. So I traded in my iPhone 14 Pro Max. The trade-in was worth $650. And I believe, I think the total for this one came up to $560. So I only paid $560 for this phone. I don't have my 14 Pro Max anymore because I traded that phone in. Honestly, though, that's not too bad for the Apple Store. Because you go in the Apple Store and spend over a band. You know what I'm saying? So that's not too bad. But now I do have one phone. Well, one working phone. So I went from two to one. Two was kind of unnecessary anyway. So yeah but we're just gonna go ahead and get into the what's on my iphone portion of this video all right i'm gonna go ahead and screen record my screen with you guys so you guys can see exactly what i'm looking at so the first thing we're going to start off with is my lock screen so this is my lock screen it says don't worry too much everything will fall into place it has like this pink white background real cute i highly recommend like a motion a motivational quote as your lock screen it's the first thing you see when you wake up in the morning the last thing you see at night it's just good to look at um, I did get mine off Pinterest if you were wondering. I don't have the picture or the link anymore so I'm sorry. That's the lock screen. That's what she looks like. I did put my phone on do not disturb so nobody would disturb me while I'm filming this. So when you open up my phone this is what you see. Um, all my notifications actually just like completely went away. I guess it might be a new thing with do not disturb because I don't know. I was like why do I have no messages but I guess they all went away. So I have my phone like somewhat organized. I organized this a long time ago y'all. This had been done over a year. Um, I don't really do too much on my phone. Like, I don't really play around with, like, how it, how it's organized or anything like that. Like, I've organized it once, and I've never changed it. So when I got this phone, it just, everything went over this phone the same way as it was on the old phone. But at the top here, the first folder I have is called Content. 
self-explanatory this is on my content creator essentials the first app is youtube self-explanatory because y'all watch me on here the second one is youtube studio if you don't know what youtube studio is basically it's an app for youtubers and it helps you track your revenue your views your subscribers it tells you how you're doing weekly um you can track your analytics see what your followers like see what your followers are searching up see who else your followers watch it's very 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 important if you're a content creator i highly recommend highly recommend the next app I have is Subcount. A lot of people ask me, like when I post this, like when I hit a certain amount of followers and I post it, how I get this. Literally, you just put your YouTube channel right here and then, or you can do anybody else's and it'll put your subscriber count right here for you. So basically it's just to keep up with your subscriber count. Or if you hit like 50K and you wanna take a little screenshot, it'll always be on here. Cause I know like on the YouTube studio app, it'll show you like, 50,001 followers. So if you just want that 50,000 number, you want to get a screenshot of that while you're still there, this is the app. Um, I have CapCut. CapCut is how I edit my TikToks and Instagram Reels. So I'm just going to show y'all one real quick, real fast. This is how I make my mini vlogs on CapCut. I love CapCut. So yeah, this was me when I was in Punta Cana. I just did like review of the resort. So CapCut is really easy to edit on. I highly recommend um, if you make TikToks, Instagram Reels, anything like that, CapCut is your go-to. It has so many features, so much stuff on there. I also edit my YouTube videos with CapCut. Canva is what I use to make my thumbnails. It's basically just how I do the layout of my thumbnails. I don't use like the fonts or anything on there. I know a lot of people do it all on one, but I use Fonto as well for my thumbnails. Fantasy, I honestly don't even use this, y'all. Um, it's just an app with a bunch of fonts. But I use dafont.com. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you. I use dafont.com because it has a lot more and more like the trendy ones. This one is just like, I don't know. It it still has fonts, but I just don't use it. Next up is Fonto. This is how I do my thumbnails. Um, photo album. I wonder, I really hope. Hold on, okay. I really hope my fonts are still on here. Oh, they are. Okay. So yeah, these are some of the fonts I have downloaded. You can screenshot if you like. These are some of like the more trendy ones people use that I have downloaded like outside the app on dafont.com. So these are some of my thumbnails. Um, not some of my thumbnails. These are some of my fonts. So, Punta Cana, that's what I put. Boom. And I always darken mine up. I know this is not like a thumbnail tutorial, but I always darken mine up. So boom. And that's how I make my thumbnails on Fonto. Well, that's how I get the text over the actual the you y'all know what i mean y'all know what i mean the next app is whatsapp and i know you're probably like girl what is whatsapp doing in your content folder but whatsapp is how i talk to like my wig people when i do wig promos um just people overseas when i talk to people y'all know i work for dh gate sweatsuit from dh gate link in description period but i also work for dh gate and this is how we communicate with each other because y'all know it's overseas so it's a little bit harder to just text them through messages so i communicate with them through whatsapp i have my link tree this is just like my website you guys see I'm not logged in. This phone is new. So this phone is new. It's not 100% done, okay? I still got to log in a couple apps. But Linktree is basically like my links and how I've, I can give y'all my other socials. Um, you can shop my digital planner, stuff like that. Milkshake. I wonder if I'm logged in on Milkshake. I'm not logged in on Milkshake. Milkshake is also another one of my websites that I created for my DH Gate finds. So that's the link that will be in the description. It'll say shop my fence finds and you guys can see what the website looks like i can actually show you guys what milkshake looks like milkshake is basically like a free website builder so this is what mine looks like um and then i just have like all my fence products linked just like this so you guys can shop them easily and stuff like that so that's what milkshake is i know you're probably like girl milkshake so that's all for my content folder the next folder is my socials i don't really have a lot of social media i don't have twitter i got instagram pinterest i love pinterest i've just became a pinterest girl Look at this, like, just look at when you open up my app. Doesn't it just look so therapeutic? Like, Pinterest is a vibe. Go follow me on Pinterest. This is my account right here. I be posting. I be trying to keep up with the Pinterest girlies. So, I love Pinterest. Pinterest is just so peaceful. It's like one of those social medias where you don't talk to nobody. You don't have no hate comments in the comments. You don't have nobody in your ear about nothing. It's peaceful. It's a girl's girl app. Like, it's meant for the girls. It's just, I love Pinterest. It's so cute so aesthetically pleasing pinterest is a vibe okay then i got tiktok we all know what tiktok is my next folder is food and baby one thing about okaya she got some food apps on here so i'm gonna just go through these real quick because i'm pretty sure i know what all these places i got starbucks dunkin 
Y'all know me, I'm Starbucks and Dunkin' is locked in. Chipotle. Baby, I know I got points for days on Chipotle. When I tell you I eat Chipotle at least three times a week, it's actually sickening. And that's at least. Wingstop, Jimmy John's, DoorDash, Chick-fil-A, Crumble Cookie, Uber Eats, Panera Bread, McDonald's, Tropical Smoothie, and Jersey Mike's. Um, so yeah, that's the food folder. Next is shopping. Amazon first. I am an Amazon girl. I love Amazon now. AliExpress. I don't really use AliExpress anymore. I got Fashion Nova, Bath and Body Works, Shop. Shop is like when you shop with like a smaller business. It's not even necessarily small businesses. They most of them use like an app called Shop, and that's how you do your tracking and uh, you can make reviews and stuff. I don't know. I just download it because I like to keep track of my like when my stuff is coming in and stuff like that. Sheen. Maybe I'm a Sheen girl for life. Sheen is never getting deleted up off this phone. This iPhone 15 Pro Max, she will always be on this. <laughs> Wayfair, that's a furniture, it's a furniture store. I'm currently in the process of trying to redo my room. So Wayfair is definitely about to come in clutch. And apartments.com, self-explanatory. Um, Essentials, this is just like a bunch of stuff that came on the phone that I really don't want on my screen. So we're gonna go through this real quick, real fast. FaceTime, phone, camera. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what the camera looks like. It looks like on me, I do have a light in front of me. So y'all probably like, it probably looks a lot brighter and stuff. Um, but the camera is actually really, really good in my opinion, especially the back camera. Me and my friend, we went to go to the Apple store together yesterday. We did like a comparison with both of our cameras. She has the iPhone 12 and I had the 14. And this camera is actually really good compared to both those phones. Um, I really wish I could show y'all a comparison, but as y'all know, this phone is completely blacked out and my 14 is long gone. So I can't really do a comparison with you guys, but I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers do like different comparisons or you can look on TikTok for the comparisons. Um, reminders, I really don't use that too much. Clock, App Store, Maps, Settings, Contacts, Weather, Files, and Apple Watch. The next app is my money app. This is where all my money comes in. Cash app. Afterpay and Klarna, I downloaded these a long time ago, like when they first came out and everybody was using it. And I'm like, oh boy, I love Klarna, I love Apple Pay. But now I'm just kind of like, if you got to use that, don't buy it. Let's go ahead and just like delete these. <laughs> Let's go ahead and delete these because I feel like these are very toxic apps to have on your phone. Um, like if you just can't buy it in full, just don't even buy it. That's, that's for me. I'm speaking to myself. That's kind of the place I'm in with Afterpay and Klarna. Like it's no good for me personally. PayPal, PayPal, I use PayPal to um, get paid from like my uh, overseas people. When I do wig promos, they pay me through PayPal. When I get paid from DHJ, I get paid through PayPal. That's just one of the most secure places for you to do your collabs and promos and get paid from, in my opinion. Um, VACU, that's um, my bank app. And Discover is my credit card app. I use Discover, it student cash back card. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. And I'm not a student no more, but yes, I still got it. <laughs> Then I have this watch folder. It has Hulu, Netflix, and Peacock. I only downloaded Peacock to watch, I think it was Suit Season 9, but baby, I think I'm still paying for it. I actually might need to cancel that. So we're gonna look into that once we finish this video because I'm not about to be paying for something I'm not using, but Hulu and Netflix, I do use faithfully. I usually don't watch it on my phone unless like I'm on a plane, um, in the car or something. Usually I use my TV. I don't really watch TV on my phone or my MacBook. I'm like a TV girl. I need the big screen. You know what I mean? The next one is bills. The first one we have is Progressive. That's who I have my car insurance through. I've heard a lot of bad things about Progressive, but Progressive ain't done me nothing but right. Um, T-Mobile, that's who I have phone service with. T-Mobile has done me right. Um, this is making me mad to even look at. Why do I still have my Hyundai on here? Let me delete that. Y'all know my Hyundai, um, got crashed it was a total loss so this is making me very upset just looking at it i don't know i never deleted it but my hyundai is like um an app that connects to your car you can start your car from there lock your car turn the air on um track it you can literally do anything so that's what that was t-mobile tuesdays if you have t-mobile and you don't have t-mobile tuesdays you are missing out on free food uh movie tickets free merch like i'm telling you t-mobile tuesday will get you right basically on tuesdays T-Mobile just sends you like uh, coupons, free food, free gifts, stuff like that. So download T-Mobile Tuesday if you're not hip. Mint is like a, uh, I don't use it anymore. I, I honestly don't know why half this stuff is on here. What is it called? Like a budgeting app. Uh, it's really, it's a really good budgeting app. It shows you where your money's coming in, out, what you should be saving on, what you should be doing, what you're doing too much of. I highly recommend, I just don't use it anymore, but it's about that time to start using it again. Cause I've been spending money 
like I'm rich and I'm not. And then on the screen also I have Safari, Photos, Gmail. I just feel like that little white. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all see this like the white background, the white apps outside the photos. It just makes sense. And then I just have this Widget Smith picture that says, nah, bigger God. Because baby, period. Period. And then at the bottom I have messages. And then I have this folder that has basically this is like organization. There's an app called My Calendar. Basically when I was working, it had synced into my work schedule and it synced into my calendar app on my phone. So anything, it was always on there. You know what I mean? It's just a little bit better and like more colorful and stuff than the regular calendar app on the iPhone. That's just something I like personally. Like I like color. I like, yeah, I'm just a little weird. <laughs> I have my notes, my reminders. Wasn't my reminders just somewhere else? Why do I have two reminders? I don't know. Um, I have the Bible app and then I have Notion. Notion is like, I'm probably not even logged in. Notion is also a planning app. I love Notion. Then I have music. Let's see what song I was listening to. This is what I was listening to. I love this new update and how it looks when you pull up music. But look at, look at my most recent. Rod Wave, period. Then I got my mail. This is literally it. Like after this page, I like keeping my stuff in folders so it's not looking crazy, unorganized. So the next photo I have is called Other. This is just a bunch of random stuff. Credit Karma, don't know why I have this. If y'all don't know, Credit Karma is actually very unreliable. Um, if you tell Credit Karma your credit score is 800 and you go to the dealership, they will laugh in your face. <laughs> credit Karma is very unreliable. Um, I have Google Drive. Y'all know what that is. I know y'all probably use that in high school. My chart, basically my chart is like, it's like connected to my doctor's office. So when, whenever I go in, they just send me what we talked about. If I get test results, they send me my test results through this app. They communicate with me through this app. Pandora, I don't use that anymore. I don't even know why it's on here. I'm telling you, I really don't be deleting apps. So I'm glad I'm doing this now so I can actually start getting rid of some of these apps. Okay, next we got Outlook. That's like an email app. That's what I used when I was in college, but I'm not in college anymore, so... It's just gonna sit there so yeah luxor one if you live in an apartment you probably know what luxor one is luxor one is basically when they send you packages and it goes into a locker and you use the look the luxor one app to open that locker kia access is the same thing as my hyundai basically it's how i uh, lock my car for my phone start my car for my phone track my phone i can cut the air on i could really do anything with my car with this app Uber because um, I be out of town taking Ubers. I don't like to do rentals out of town because I feel like driving in different states is very confusing. So I just like to take Ubers. Airbnb, I won't be using no more because I got scammed. <laughs> so yeah. And then my last app is travel. So these are all the airlines I've ever flew with. Um, Frontier, Delta, Southwest, United, and American. So yeah, y'all, that is what's on my iPhone. That's literally it. I feel like my phone is so simple. I don't really keep a lot of stuff on here. My personal opinion on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, I've always been a Pro Max girl. Um, I know the 15 Plus is the same, but I feel like the three cameras definitely makes a difference. If it got Pro Max at the end, I'm gonna get it. Um, but like I told y'all before, I definitely don't feel like there's a big difference with this phone ever since the 12 came out. And in my personal opinion, my 12 Pro Max was the best phone I've ever had the best iPhone I ever had I just love my 12 Pro Max so much my 14 Pro Max just gave me a bunch of issues I don't know what that was about because I didn't buy it when it was like brand new I know they tell you to wait a little bit before you buy a new phone I didn't buy it when it was brand new I feel like the 15 Pro Max is very much the same as all the other phones there's really no big differences like to the point where you're like oh I really need to upgrade I really need that unless like your phone breaks or unless something is wrong with your phone I really don't recommend upgrading. I don't know how Apple likes to get. They like to slow those other phones down when a new one come out. So I get it if you want to upgrade just for that. But it's really not much of a difference to be honest y'all. But I, I do like it. It just doesn't feel like a new phone. It feels like the same one I just had if that makes sense. But yeah y'all that is what is on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one.